All right, so I just did a load calculation on this house. This is how many cooling BTUs the house needs. So the equipment selection, probably appropriate to be a 30,000, perhaps a 36,000 BTU unit. The unit that was installed here is a five ton unit, 60,000 BTUs. So what is the problem with the sizing of the air conditioning system? I've got more BTUs, great, fantastic. When it gets hotter out, the AC will work a lot better. It, it's not the way it works. Bigger is not better. There's a couple of reasons. Number one, you're buying way too much of an air conditioner up front. You're paying for a bigger system. The other thing is when you're using that air conditioning system, uh, every time you use it, you're running a bigger air conditioning system. It costs you much more to run. So over the period of time that you own it, you're paying more for it. You paid more up front, now you're paying more for it. But there's a far more important reason why oversizing is truly horrible. It's because an oversized air conditioning system will not dehumidify well. Frankly, probably not at all. One of the things that happens, it's just got far too many sensible uh, cooling BTUs and what will happen is they'll uh, drop the temperature inside really really fast and not run long enough to properly remove humidity. A properly sized air conditioning unit will run longer. That's what it's supposed to do. So it's smaller. When it runs it draws less amperage, less electricity, right? It runs longer, removes humidity. And you may say, okay, so fine, it's a little more humid in my house. What's the big deal? But when I have that Fourth of July barbecue, and I invite uh, you know 60 people inside my house, and it happens to be a 100 degree day. My house is nice and cold. Great. You have a system that works for you perfectly that one day out of the year, maybe, but all the other days out of the year, <clears throat> it's extremely wasteful and potentially not removing humidity from your house causes drastically just bad issues in your house, right? going all the way from, you know, just uncomfortable to mold, to rotting away at structures. So removing humidity from your house is actually probably the primary source, um, uh, primary reason your, your air conditioner exists there. Yes, I always tell people there are two reasons uh, your air conditioning system is in the house. Uh, one, yeah, I know you're paying for it, so you want to be comfortable. It's for you. The other reason, it's for the house. The house has to be acclimated to a certain baseline of humidity and temperature. Uh, houses don't like swings up and down of humidity and temperature where wood and plaster and all things will start moving, contracting. So um, maintaining a proper level of humidity in your house is super duper important, right? And it all starts with the properly sized air conditioner. And we can have a lot of conversation about, hey, an air conditioner is a little bit too big. Okay, you know, not the end of the world, but what I just showed you guys, it's double. The air conditioning system installed by this air conditioning company is double what it is supposed to be. So what do you think will happen long term? Why do you think we're looking at it right now? There's bad things happening with it. It's actually not comfortable. Bigger is not better in terms of air conditioning systems.